Welcome to Social Media Intervention. Today we're going to reveal five secrets that are keeping you from creating an impact online. Do you remember the last time social media made you feel like this? <laughs> <laughs> last time? What are you talking about? With all the changes? I feel like this pretty often. Oh, who am I kidding? So do I. Especially when clients call, this is my favorite, and they say, I broke my social media profile. The other thing I hear all the time is that they're feeling overwhelmed by social media, that it's so complicated, and really it's not. It's so easy. And a lot of us have so much content, we just aren't quite sure what to do with all that content. That's why we've staged this social media intervention dun, dun, dun. to help you save time and to show you how you can increase your revenue, your sales, your profitability using social media. And build relationships. And become oh, industry leader, maybe. That, that's very important. Too. Yeah. Okay. They all go together. They do indeed. So here we are. I am Tracy Warren. I am at Ready, Set, Grow. My company name is Ready, Set, Grow Marketing, and I am your social media superhero. Melanie DiPoli, Brand Catalyst at Omicle, and I help companies build brands worthy of going viral. My Twitter handle is at Mel DiPoli, and you'll notice in the upper right-hand corner that we have a lovely little hashtag called SB Impact. As you hear those wonderful tweetable moments that are aha moments for you, we encourage you to tweet them out. Oh, and by the way, Tracy and I may not always agree. What? I know. What are you talking about? We agree on everything. <laughs> That's funny, Tracy. <laughs> I know, but seriously, we won't always agree, but us disagreeing absolutely benefits you because it gives you different options and a different perspective. What works for your company may not work for someone else's. By having us disagree, we create the opportunity for you to create the ultimate social media plan to help you grow your business. So in the next 20 minutes, we're going to share with you the five secrets that businesses often don't know about social media. Or if they are aware of them, they aren't sure how it affects them. We'll not only share the secret, but we'll share what it means and how you can apply it to your social media strategy. And here's another little secret. We know who you are. Ha ha ha. So we're going to be watching. We're not watching to watch you screw up so we can pounce, but we really want... <laughs> now we get to pounce. Fun. Uh, but we really want you to... Take what you're learning in this webinar and in the future from us and put it into practice. So we're going to give you actionable items, practical tips and actionable items that you can put into practice right now. Woohoo! I like actionable items. Content, content, share, oh my. Yes, social media is driven by creating, posting, sharing, liking, and commenting on content. But that's not the only way that you can use social media. Secret number one, searching and listening on social media tells you what your market and your customers think about a particular topic, all without actually having to talk to them. So there's a reason that this is the first secret that we're talking about. So many people see Facebook, Twitter, everything else as broadcasting tools. And they can be to a point. But the problem with broadcasting is it often looks like buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. Buy now, now, now. But when you use these tools, they're all just tools at our disposal, to search and listen, you can glean useful information that can keep you on the cutting edge of your industry and help you become a thought leader in your area of expertise. We mentioned earlier about a cre how social media is, an, is a part of your marketing strategy. When you search online, and we'll tell you specifically how to do that using hashtags later on, what we are showing you is how to organize 
all of that content that you actually already have and most likely aren't aware of it. So there's more to social media than just creating content. So secret number two. Okay, this one, this is a big one. You don't have to be online all the time. No way! It's, it's remarkable. Uh, when I'm out and about, people often comment that I am everywhere. And I joke that it's an illusion. Ooh, we're magicians. We're magicians. <laughs> and that's only half true, the illusion. This is really just about a shift in the way we think. I am often thinking about my business and how to share about what I do. Sometimes those thoughts come at convenient times, like when I'm sitting at my computer. Other times they come while I'm driving down the road and I get a thought. So rarely am I sitting at the computer going, hmm, what am I going to post today? I mean, that would be actually the most challenging way to do social media. But in addition, if you are online all the time, it gives a very odd sense to those people who might want to hire you. They begin to think, hmm, you have a lot of time on your hands. Why and how are you responding to me so quickly? Do you really know what you're talking about? Do you actually have clients? <laughs> Do people actually pay you? So there's value in engaging and responding but maybe not right away. But if you don't, if you do this all the time, then they're like, well, you don't really care about me. So it's about finding that balance. Mm -hmm. And there are tools out there that can help you do this more effectively. My personal favorite tool is Hootsuite. And we'll cover that in a program that we have, Social Brilliance Impact. You'll learn more about that a little later. But we also talk about how to be strategic in leveraging your online time. I just love this slide. <laughs> Social media is a tool. It's meant to be another way that you can communicate with someone. A particular person. That's the key word, person. I'm sure you have your own horror stories of that slimy salesperson who did nothing but talk at you. What is it going to take to get you to drive this car home today? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> because it's not leaving this lot with me in it. We've all had those experiences, and social media is not a vehicle to be that slimy salesperson. Social media is a tool to help you communicate and build relationships with people, actual people. So this is secret number three. Communicate with people instead of talking at them. When you pick up the phone, there's a certain etiquette that you use to talk on the phone. You don't actually yell at the person. You don't say, hey, Tracy, how are you today? You're like, hello, is Tracy there? Hi, Tracy, how are you today? There's a certain etiquette. When you send somebody a text, you're not going to send them two paragraphs of whatever it is you're thinking. You're going to think in a few characters, ideally around 140, which happens to be the magic number of Twitter. You're also not going to send that message in all caps unless you're intending to yell at that person. But you would not yell at somebody on social media because it's not proper etiquette. Well, and I think another important point here is that you need to reach your potential customers where they are. Now, this we're about to tell you about social brilliance. One of the things, the, one of the first things we talk about is identifying who your clients are. What, but they have you to know that? <laughs> then you need to talk to them where they are. So what that may mean for you is that you're going to need to play maybe on some different social platforms to figure out where they are so that you can talk to them there. Honestly, this is a topic I could talk about for an entire hour if we had the time. But And the other thing is you need to make it as easy as possible for people to communicate with you. People aren't going to share a story with you necessarily if you ask them, tell us a story about your dad. But if you say, tell us one word you would use to describe your dad, then that is something that I could easily come up with. So make it as easy as possible. And sometimes that making it easy as possible 
is about letting them know you have social profiles. Like, don't hide it on the fifth page of your website at the very bottom. So make it as easy as possible for people to communicate with you. When you make it easy for them to communicate with you, it's the same as a core concept in branding, make it easy for your customers to do business with you. Mm -hmm. We're taking that exact concept and applying it to social media. And that's another big element that we won't go into today because we don't have the time, but we do address this in Social Brilliance, is you'll have your own personal favorite social media tool, but that may not be where your customers are. Don't try to force engagement where your market is not. So speaking of social brilliance impact, look at that! Look at that! If you want to be a winner, you can sign up for social brilliance impact. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, I liked the image. <laughs> so we have a five-week course called Social Brilliance Impact. And in that in those five weeks, we address specific topics along the lines of helping you identify your social media strategy as it relates to your actual marketing plan so you can incorporate it. Then we take a deep dive into Facebook's, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So by the end of the five weeks, you will have a deep, in-depth knowledge of what these tools are, how to use the tools for their strengths, and how you can better incorporate it into your marketing plan to produce more business for you. And all in all, you'll be able to do all of this in less time at the end of Social Brilliance Impact. The, the biggest complaints we hear often are, it takes too much time, I don't know what to say, and that's really the, that's what we want to solve with Social Brilliance Impact. That's what we'll show you how to solve. Absolutely. You can learn more at socialbrilliantsimpact.com. So back to our fourth secret. So how many of you, I know I'm like raising my hand really high, yeah. are a marketing department of one? Ooh, that's me. Or so, you have a marketing department of one. <laughs> that could be. But for many of you, you are one person in business trying to do everything yourself. And this slide, like, we can do it. Like, I'm mustering it myself. So secret number four is in order to get results with social media, it will help you to build a tribe. So how do you go about building a tribe? Well, part of that is about creating engagement. The what? The big buzzword on social media. But it's so true. You have to create those conversations and relationship and what? engagement. <laughs> I know. It's really shocking. But... And a tribe, Mel and I were talking about this earlier, how a tribe isn't a forced thing. A tribe happens naturally. And I kind of, I love that analogy that when we create engagement on the page, when we are communicating and asking questions and building conversation, that's when our tribe forms and comes to our rescue. So let me give you an example of this. So what if you're having an event? Well, you're having an event tonight. It's a big event. Well, you are getting ready for the event. You're not sitting on social media answering questions about the event. And the truth of the matter is, right now, when people have a question about something simple, it would be easy to pick up the phone. But they don't pick up the phone. They go to Facebook and they go to your page and they say, hey, I can't find the address for the event tonight. When you have built a tribe, you're raving fans on your page, those are the people that will go in and say, the party is at this location, as opposed to you having to be there all the time. Do you have anything to add to that? Remember, building a tribe is about building relationships, and it's about building relationships with people. So the same concepts apply online as they do in, in real person, life. in real yeah. life. When you are sitting across the table from somebody having coffee and they're talking to you, you're not sitting mm -hmm. there going, like, 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 retweet, retweet, <laughs> retweet. 
Wouldn't that be ridiculous? It, it would actually kind of be funny if you could sit there and do this and keep a straight face. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> don't do that. When you're actually talking with somebody, you're saying, yes, I agree with this, but I wonder about that. Or have you thought about that? Or I disagree with this point, but you made a really good point about that. The same conversation applies offline as it does online. If you are looking to build a tribe, it's about you reaching out first. Mm. When you reach out first by engaging with others, then you are able to set this tone saying, I'm open to building a relationship with you. And honestly, right now, we we're all, many people are sitting behind their computer and that reaching out and building relationships has become more important than it ever has. And here we go, the fifth and final secret, which is my personal favorite. When used correctly, hashtags make finding the needle in the haystack quicker and easier. When used correctly, think of it as you, have, you the magician, have been given a secret tool called a metal detector and it has this new upgraded feature called a magnet. It will help you find the specific content that you are looking for. If you do a search in Twitter in particular, although this does work across other social platforms and in the search engines for a particular topic. I was looking for speaking gigs the other day. So I searched out speaking in one search. In another browser, because I wanted to compare what the results would be like, I used hashtag speaking. The results when I used the hashtag were much more targeted, much more specific, and more along the lines of the conversation that I was looking to, looking to engage in. That is how hashtags become of value. You as a business owner or a marketing director will help you find out what your target market and what your customers are saying, thinking, and feeling about your product or service, but they also will help you create content tailored to that information. Your customers also know this secret. So customers today are more sophisticated. They're not smarter, they're more sophisticated because they have more tools at hand. If they are interested in a particular product or service, they will do a whole lot of listening prior to contacting your company to inquire about your product or service. And they do that through the use of hashtags. And that is how you can get that information to find out what the conversation is. Whether you are on social media or not, hmm. doesn't matter because the conversation is happening with or without you. Do you want to build your brand, build your customer base, and build your level of influence? Or do you want somebody else to do that? And you know, the other thing about hashtags is they are becoming more and more and more relevant. Um, I think initially, the hashtags started on Twitter and people on Twitter using them understood them. Then Facebook introduced them, and all of my friends who actively use Twitter were thrilled on Facebook. Um, but there's still a lot of misunderstanding about how to use them. But there was an article that just came out that Facebook is doing some things and changing their search feature to make them even more relevant. So we do spend time in Social Brilliance Impact talking more about hashtags, but they are relevant and it is time to embrace them. Um, and embracing them isn't about uh, making stuff up. It's all about being strategic. Okay, you just hit on one of my big no-nos when it comes to social media. If you are using social media for business, to build relationships, to grow your level of influence, you should not be using hashtags like Hashtag selfie no makeup. Hashtag I'm bored. I don't care. And it gets you a part of the wrong conversations. 
keep your hashtags targeted and specific to the conversations that you and your brand want and need to be a part of. Be strategic. Questions. Remember our hashtag, hashtag SB Impact? We encourage you to tweet to us using our Twitter handles any questions or aha moments that you have from our social media intervention. So thank you for attending our social media in, in a, uh, intervention. We shared with you five secrets that businesses often either don't know or don't know how they apply to them. You can sign up if you're interested in learning more for Social Brilliance Impact, our five-week course. And oh, look at that. We have a special link for you. If you use this white link up at the top, meldapoli.com forward slash SB Impact 2, you will get a discount. Social Brilliance Impact usually goes for $247. If you use that link up at the top, you can sign up today for $197. Wow, that's a great deal. Think about that. That's $200. You can make that back putting into practice, absolutely, using what we teach you in Social Brilliance Impact. That would be the equivalent of just one client for me. Yeah, less, less than one client. Less than a client. One you client session. One client. That's awesome. Alrighty, have a great day and thank you for attending Social Media Intervention.